So I'm going through the slide which we have uh, covered in uh, last some sessions so that we can understand it fully. Uh, now first we have gone through the definition of uh, artificial intelligence. That uh, what is artificial intelligence and uh, how we can differentiate between uh, thinking humanly, thinking rationally, acting humanly and acting rationally. <clears throat> then we have some Turing test. Turing test will tell us that uh, a computer should have these capability if we are saying that, that it will satisfy the intelligence. So these, all these uh, four uh, uh, characteristics should be there. Now we have different uh, intelligent agent. So what an agent? Agent has two things. One is the sensor, another is the actuator. Sensor will uh, sense the environment, which is called percept, process it, and actuator will uh, work according to uh, the, the processing has been done by the management. There is uh, another part which is called environment. Environment is where we work actually. So where the agent will work, or will perform their uh, uh, work that is called environment. So we have different type of uh, agent available, human agent, robotic agent, or the software agent. Here we are looking for uh, robotic agent, right? So, okay. And then there is a difference between percept and percept sequence. So percept is nothing but uh, any input uh, taken by the sensor and the percept sequence is nothing but the complete history of everything that an agent is sensed till now. Uh, about uh, the percept sequence, we have uh, seen an example of uh, vacuum cleaner where we have two rooms, A and B, and the dirt is available in both the rooms then how a percept sequence uh, will take place based on the actions. So there is a percept, percept is clean, that is the sensor, sense that a uh, room is clean, then it will go to the right side. If A, in the room A, it find out the room is dirty, then it will suck. If it will find out B is clean, then it will go to left because in left, it has to go to reach the room A. If it find B is dirty, then it will suck. If it will find A is clean, and again it will find A is clean, it will go to the right. This is also a type of uh, percept it will uh, have, or percept sequence it will have. Clean and dirt, it will suck. Clean, 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 it will go to right. Clean, clean, dirt, it will... Means there is a sequence of percept which are available. So we don't know which type of percept uh, sequence we have attached here with any action, right? So these may be the percept sequence available for these type of robot. Okay, there is uh, the difference between agent function and agent program that we have learned. Like, uh, what is an agent function? An agent function for an artificial intelligence agent will be implemented by an agent program. So any function, so these type of functions, these, these actions are nothing but the functions for it. So with the help of agent program, we write that program to perform these actions. Okay, there is uh, the rational behavior. Rational behavior is near to the uh, idle behavior of any agent. About the rationality, it has been uh, listed. Here we have omniscient agent, learning agent, and uh, autonomy agent. Task environment, yeah. So environment, uh, as I told you, we have um, the agent part and the environment part. So in the environment, we have, it is called a task environment where uh, the agent actually works. 
so problems are there in the task environment and this agent will looking for the solution in the in that particular problem okay how will I specify a task so for specifying a task we need to have a formula which is called PS formula PEAS where we have to find out performance environment actuator and sensor performance means in which what are the performance basis to find out the uh, the performance of any agent it is just uh, like different matrices uh, environment we know that where an agent will work and there is the actuator and the sensors so for uh, uh, agent taxi or an automat autonomous car we have some performance measures these are safety how fast how fast it will uh, reach to the destination how legal it is comfortable for the passenger and how we are maximize the profit so all these things are uh, there in the performance measure environment what is our environment where autonomous car will work so we have roads other traffics uh, pedestrian uh, or uh, the customer who will sit in the car then we have actuators we have steering accelerator brake signal horn display all those comes under actuator and we have sensors which will sense those environment and generate the percept so we have camera sonar <laughs> speedometer gps odometer accelerometer again okay so all those things are related to the sensors this is how we can specify any task environment okay then we have uh, gone through what do we mean by architecture so architecture is nothing but the hardware part of any um, any agent it is is nothing but the architecture agent program is nothing but the software part of it this is how we can uh, uh, define an agent program so agent program will uh, take the input as a percept and this uh, percept or percept sequence it will uh, take and uh, based on that it will go to the lookup table and find out the action whatever action it is listed based on the percept it will perform that particular action if the action is not if 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 it will find out the percept and there is no entry in the table so it will not find the action so it, if it will not find the action it will not perform any action okay so we have different type of agent available this first type of agent is called simple reflex agent so it will just look at the percept sequence table whatever table is defined it will uh, do its action accordingly so it will work in this particular way so it will find out the percept if the entry of the percept is in table so it will find out associated action and this action will be performed here this is a type of simple reflex agent <clears throat> So this is an agent from the environment, a sensor will sense this is a percept, what the word is like now. And accordingly, it will find out, uh, find out uh, the, the action from the table and it will do the action accordingly. That is condition action rules, which is defined in the table. And it will find out the action and it will perform that particular action based on the actuator itself. Then we have model based reflex agent. This is an enhancement in the reflex agent. Here we have
here we have the sensor. Sensor will sense this percept will have some state and how the world is evolved, what my action will do. Here also we have the table, which is called percept uh, sequence table. And it comes under condition action rule. And based on that percept sequence, it will perform the action. So in the previous one, it will just a percept and the table. Here we have a percept sequence. So here we have sequence of uh, percept. And based on that, it will take the action. It is just like if uh, uh, somebody is taking uh, left, which is, let's say, the automated car. And in front of the automated car, somebody is taking left. So it will uh, use the uh, use the indicator for that, right? So when the indicator will uh, blow two, three times, uh, then only uh, automated car will realize that whatever vehicle is going in front of me is taking left right so one percept sequence is not at all uh, uh, applicable to find out the action in that particular so we have some model which we made in the form of percept sequence then we have goal based agent where with the help of this uh, percept sequence uh, table we have the goal which is defined with that so we have the sensor which will find out the all the um, percept how the word is like we have a state how the word evolve what my action do so all these things will be there with that we have some goal which is defined so based on that it will find out what action it has to then we have utility based agent so utility is uh, uh, all about how we can find out okay there is some <clears throat> okay, in the utility based uh, agent, it will find out uh, some uh, a realization of uh, last output, whether it is happy or unhappy. So it will find out the uh, it will find out the matrices in which it will uh, realize that which are the different matrices or which are the different performance measure we have to look at look into it. So one of the performance measure is, let's say, the happy or unhappy of the customer. So based on that, it will uh, do the action. That is That comes under utility-based agent. There is some utility that will define instead of goal. And there is a uh, learning-based agent. Learning-based agent is actually your agent that is going to be um, what? going to be uh, yeah so in the learning based agent we are looking for how an agent will learn so we have a sensor which will uh, generate the percept and this percept will uh, reach to the learning element by critic. Critic is nothing but an element which will tell us that whether we have done, we have chosen the right action or not. So right or wrong will be uh, taken by this critic. It will give the feedback into the learning agent. In the learning agent, actually, uh, the agent will learn that whether it performed good or bad. So we have some performance element. So the sensor data will go to the performance element or to go to the critic. Then we have the performance element. This performance element give the knowledge to the learning agent, learning element, and whatever learning has been done, it will change into that. So performance element is nothing but, let's say your table, right? So we have a percept sequence and the action table. So this table is, uh is used to change all the time based on the learning and the critic feedback then there is a learning goal which which generates the on the problem and then 
this is also attached with the performance uh, element. So you all understand that we have a table, predefined table, and based on the learning, the table could change in the future. And this changed table will have the action, and that action will be performed by the actuator. There are different uh, component of an agent program, whether it is a atomic factored or a structured type of uh, um, a component of an agent that we have uh, seen in the last class. So that part is all about different type of agent. We have reflex, simple reflex agent. We have goal based agent. We have uh, a utility based agent. All right, um, there is a, a learning uh, based agent. What do you mean by problem solving? Uh, all those things we have seen in that particular part.